I realize that all we do is put out fires, and uh, <laughs> what I'm hoping is going to come out of this is we're going to prevent fires. I think gene therapy is an exciting um, avenue. I've done work with um, other rare diseases with gene therapy, and um, I see a lot of promise in this approach. We tossed around some ideas of editing and personalized medicine, so there is not one hot spot that you can go after for helping a lot of people by doing an editing approach. So you really need to go to a replacement or addition approach. So I think we all need to sort of have that mindset that we can't overcome everything before we try something. That's what we see that uh, in the exactly. Once you release inhibition, the tumor grows back. We need to hit our outside. The big guys have recognized that this is a field for the future and they can make money on it. One of the unique things about this patient population is you have an incredible reservoir of patients who just want to be part of the solution. Before you The splicing mutations are a lot milder where you lose just one exon. I feel very hopeful that within five years we'll have treatments that are uh, far more effective than what we have now. I would hope in the next five years we come up with a solid solution.